Hello, it's Joe Fair with Geek Toolkit, and today I want to talk about light bulbs. My cousin Justin recently asked me, hey, how is it that a 7 watt light bulb is the same as a 60 watt light bulb? He was of course referring to the claims that an LED light bulb in a mere 7 watts somehow puts out as much light as a 60 watt light bulb. Now we all know that a 100 watt light bulb is more powerful than a 60 watt, right? Well actually not quite comes down to two main topics, both of which I thought were really interesting to talk about today. First, there's a difference in technology. LEDs are much more efficient than the other form he was referring to known as incandescent. Incandescent technology goes way back to the invention of light bulb between the work of Swan and Edison, who both worked to figure out how to throw enough energy at a piece of metal to make it glow, while working to prevent it from burning up. Seriously. For the last 100 years, that's how light bulbs worked. There was a glowing hot metal wire that emitted light. That was the formula. Get this, to keep it from catching fire, they put it in a vacuum to deprive it of oxygen. So there the metal sat, roasting away in its fragile glass bubble of heat. If you dropped an incandescent bulb, they don't survive the drop test. They spectacularly fail and throw glass shards everywhere. Advances mainly consisted of finding metals that were simply better at resisting heat, such as tungsten, or figuring out how to use an inert gas instead of vacuums. This helped improve bulb life, but really the technology all relied on that crazy wild idea of what essentially was a contained fire in a glass bubble. And then LEDs came out, with their magical superconductor powered photon emitting wonder. I won't get into how they work, but suffice to say they throw electrons together in some kind of atomic marriage ceremony, where an unequally charged couple say I do, and then the one with more charge tosses it off so that they can be truly equal. It's a beautiful thing, and the gift of that energy that gets chucked away comes out in the form of a photon, and us mere humans see that as light. Let's just refer to LED bulbs as little magic wizards, because what they do is so far beyond the hellwire of incandescence that they've earned the title. Since LEDs use their atomic magic, they don't require the insane amount of energy to emit light. This energy savings is why you can get so much light out of a 7 watt light bulb compared to a 60 watt. But wait, doesn't the wattage refer to the brightness? Well sadly, due to that incandescent technology hole we got stuck in for the 100 years, we may be used to thinking about it that way. But really, watts is actually a measurement for how much power is used by the light. Light has its own unit of measurement, a lumen. A lumen's about the amount of light released by a candle in an area of, of, let's say, a square foot. Of course, there's much more to it than that, but let's not explain the magic any further than we need to. Now, those contained fireballs that we called incandescence would use about 60 watts to emit 800 lumens of light. The photon emitting superhero LEDs can do that with only 7 watts of power. That's why a 7 watt LED can compete with the 60 watt incandescent. Now before I go, I want to also mention that LEDs, due to the lack of that fireball technology, run much cooler than incandescents. They don't include any mercury or require crazy gases like some fluorescent lights. They're able to take up a lot less space, provide a rainbow of colors, have come way down in cost, and they're much more resilient. No more glass death shards when you drop a bulb. So there you have it. Some of us have been talking about light the wrong way all along. Please share this with your friends. Maybe they'll appreciate the wonder of LED lights, which have only been around for 25 years, and yet they've surpassed 100 years of incandescent technology in cost, reliability, efficiency, and oh yeah, colors. I'm Joe Farrow with Geek Toolkit. Thanks for watching. Until next time.